Hi, I'm Mike, and you may need to replace your door latch if your current door latch isn't keeping your door shut securely. For this repair, you will need a quarter inch nut driver, a Phillips head screwdriver, and a pair of needle nose pliers. Before doing any repairs, completely disconnect your appliance from its power source. The first step in order to gain access to the door lock, you're going to pull down on the range door. Next, you're going to remove these two lower screws. To remove those two screws, you're going to get your quarter inch nut driver and just simply unscrew. Once you remove the two lower screws connecting the range cooktop to the outside frame of the range, go ahead and lift up on the cook panel. And now you can either use a friend to help hold, hold the cook panel up or you can use an old piece of wood or a different type of instrument to support the cooktop while you're taking off the bottom plate. So once the cooktop is secured and held steady, you're going to remove this bottom plate, allowing you to gain access to the lock, which is located right here. We're going to need to remove these screws. So using your quarter inch nut driver, go ahead and re start removing the screws. And for some of these model ranges, you might also have to use a screwdriver to unscrew one of the screws. Once all the screws have been removed, gently just pick up on this bottom plate. And you'll gain access to the door lock. So once that top panel is removed and you are now looking at the exposed door lock, next we're going to remove these two screws right here. They're holding the door lock in place. Now holding onto this front plate right here, we're going to gently just slide out the door lock and then gently just pull up so it comes out of the insulation. And next, using our needle nose pliers, we're going to disconnect the wires that are connected to the door lock. And once you have disconnected the wires from the door lock, go ahead and place your old door lock on the side. So grab your new OEM replacement door lock. If you don't have a door lock already, you can find one on one of our online stores. Just reconnect the wires. So once you've reconnected the wires to the door lock, go ahead and slide the bottom of the door lock into the insulation, and then slide this hook back into the front plate and then pull the door lock forward and make sure that the screw holes are lined up onto the front plate and once you've done that you can go ahead and reattach the front screws that you've taken off before pulling the door lock in place just gently screw the lock back in so once you have screwed the door lock back into that front plate you're going to go ahead and grab this bottom plate that we've taken off previously. You're gonna line up the holes and then screw it back in. So once this bottom plate has been reattached, with one hand holding up on the cooktop, use your other hand to pull out the support you've placed underneath it and gently lower it back down. So once you've lowered the cooktop back onto the outside frame of the range, go ahead and reattach the two screws you've taken off previously. Once you've placed in those two screws, grab your door and gently shut it and you've completed your repair. Thanks for watching our video. Please like, comment, or share. And if you liked our video, please subscribe down below.